There we go, baby. Let's go, baby. Hold it now. I don't want Serginio. I don't want Serginio. Yes! Hold it! All right, boys, straight into Hullet's review. We're not going to mess around. We're going to keep it short and sweet. This is going to showcase Hullet in his entirety. He's got passing. He's got dribbling. He's got strength. He's one of the most unique cards in the game and definitely one of the most enjoyable cards to use. However, he is not nimble. He is not versatile. And he can be a little bit hard to train up. So that's why I think we have the ultimate build here ready for him as you see him lay on an absolute peach of a pass to Shevchenko. We've already done Shevchenko's review. And this is what you're getting with Hullet. Now, one thing you need to decide before you even build Hullet up or train him up is whether you want to have him as your holding CMF that can cover a lot of ground or a specialist attacking midfielder creative playmaker. That's going to determine and decide what way you're going to train him up. We are training him up in this video as a 102 overall attacking midfielder with Pep Guardiola. So we're going to be maximizing his acceleration, getting that balance and tight possession at least to 85. That is where you need it to be. We also have his finishing at 83 and we haven't touched any defense. If you are looking to play him as a central midfielder, you either need to overcompensate by adding a couple of points to defense or else with skills. If you want to use this build, I think it's the best attacking build of Hullet. If you want to have a bit of defending, take out the five with the exact same build. If you want to play him as a CMF, take the five out of shooting and put it into defending. If you want to use this build as an attacking midfielder, keep the shooting in. If you don't and you want to use him as a CMF, you put the five into defending instead of shooting. These are the additional skills we've given him as well. We've got double touch, soul control, first time shot track back and area superiority. Again, if you want a little bit of more nimbleness with him, he does have one touch pass and true passing. You could also give him flip flap instead of track back or area superiority. Or if you want to go to center midfielder build because he's got amazing run as his play style, you could instead of giving him double touch and soul control, give him the animation heavy interception and blocker player skills to turn him into a bit of a demon in midfield for blocking the ball. You're going to have 80 aggression and you're going to have blocker and interception and track back, which is going to be nice. Now, this is the thing I like about Hullet, right? He's got the height, he's got the strength, he's got the mobility while still not being super, super versatile, but he has the passing, the speed, the balance, the tight possession, the skills. He pretty much is the most complete attacking midfielder in the game in terms of his physique, his speed, his ability to get up and down the pitch, to block the ball, and he really does kind of fit into the meta. Uh, I feel like if you're playing with a smaller base attacking midfielder, any of these guys, Pedri, uh, even Baggio, Pedri, again, as I said, is one of the best in the business. Baggio versus Hullet as a playmaker, there's no comparison between these two because you also have a load of additional stuff that you can do with Hullet, such as this. He's going to have really good position for a creative playmaker with, with this build that I have here for him with the 83 finishing. He's going to get into those really good areas with the high dexterity. But then you also have another weapon in your arsenal, which is as a target man, whether you're playing him as a CF or an attacking midfielder. He's so strong and powerful in the air. It's just frightening what he can do on the pitch. One of the most complete players in the game. Nedved, back a simple little flick through, and then he's going to finish with the left foot. Knock on headers, right foot finish, left foot finish, left foot pass, right foot pass. Very, very good player, and one that I've definitely enjoyed. So I do give him a rating a 9 out of 10. I was going to give him 9.5, and I feel like a lot of people will say he's a 10 out of 10 card. But I honestly feel like that the 10 out of 10 cards are just reserved for Patrick Vieira. Um... And Romario, there's only probably about five or six 10 out of cards, 10 out of 10 cards that I would have. And if you guys want me to do a video on that, I can, but you'll know if I'm doing a tier list, I might do it. But I definitely think he's a very, very solid nine out of 10 card. Again, depending on how much of an importance you play on him and you play with the tactics and stuff, this Hullet can go from a nine out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 instantly with how you rate him. Compared to Shevchenko, when you're comparing Shevchenko to Romario, there's no real comparison in terms of what the game rewards and how good Romario is, which is why we gave Shevchenko the rating that we gave him. But this one is a little bit more debatable because it depends on how you're playing him. The role I want Hullet playing in my squad might be different to you, but I definitely think he's one of the best all-rounders and I just wanted to make it extra difficult on me. I could have just thrown out a willy-nilly 10 out of 10 score to him but that would also mean that I would probably put the likes of Trent and Philip Lamb as 10 out of 10 right backs as well by that metric. So I want to reserve maybe only five or six players in the whole game that have a 10 out of 10 rating. So let me know what you guys think of that. Am I a bit too harsh? Is he a 10 out of 10 player? 
he probably is a 9.5 realistically, but I didn't want to make it easy on myself and give 0.5 scores. It's either 8, 9, or 10 for most of these guys, or 7 or 6, or whatever it is. But let me know what you guys think. Do you disagree or agree? I definitely think he's a brilliant, brilliant player, a 9 out of 10. But let me know what you guys think. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you in a bit.